Hello, AP students. Sorry I cannot be in class today. Uh, my son got sick and I had to go get him. But we can get everything done today, and we have an awesome sub who's here helping out. So thank you very much. Um, let's start off with our Kahoot. So um, uh, we should be able to get going with the Kahoot, which should be on the computer. So go ahead and get your phones. That should be projected up there. And you guys can begin with that. When done, our great substitute teacher, can you please come back to this video, and I'll give some more directions to these awesome students. All right, that was a coup. We'll have to find out. I'll have to find out tomorrow who won. But whoever won, congrats. All right, that means vocab test is tomorrow. Be ready for that. All right, um, let's look at our essential question for today. Uh, we are analyzing and explaining the development of the Islamic world from 600 to 1450. And our essay question, yay, is to discuss how women's roles developed over time in the Middle East from 500 to 1450. So let's look at our agenda. Ooh, I don't know how to spell individual. Let me direct my spelling, Mr. Lord. All right, so let's start. Do now, our Kahoot is done. Uh, our next step, which we're going to do, is for you guys to compare and share your graphic organizers. Then we'll work on our intro and body paragraphs. Your homework for tomorrow is you have a vocab test and a rough draft for your LEQ. So let's get started by you taking out this sheet right here, which is where you were supposed to write down as much as you could about women's roles in the Islamic world. Get together in your groups that you normally work with. You may compare and share and get as many notes as you can. To our great teacher who's running the class right now, give them about four to five minutes to get this done. So now that you are with your group and you've compared notes, let's take a look at our actual graphic organizer and what are some topics that you could do. How could you organize these notes in the different topics that we've talked about? Were there some different ways that women's lives had changes, some continuities? So go ahead and put any topics that you can right here. Here's your job. You need to have at least two topics down. At least two topics. You may put three. After you have two topics down, you may go to the whiteboard over there. Right over there. Yeah, I'm kind of backward. The whiteboard over there where it says change and continuity. Take a marker and put down at least one of your topics or two of your topics under a change or a continuity that happened in the Muslim world from 600 to 1450. So put down two to three here and then one to two on the board is either a change or a continuity. As soon as they are written down, you may steal any of the ones that are put on the whiteboard over there. Okay? So go ahead and do that right now. Get your topic and run down. For our great teacher who's covering the class, give them about five minutes to work on this, then push pause, and then come back to play. All right. So you got those written down. Now you need your topics written here. And you need to decide, are they changes or continuities? I'm willing to bet we probably have a lot more changes in here. And it's okay if you have two body paragraphs that are changes. You can have two body paragraphs that are changes. You can have two paragraphs that are continuities. That's just too close. That's better. All right. So now you need to pick your two topics that you want to write about and then put the evidence that you want to use for that over here. So why don't you take uh, about two, three minutes to get that done. You can work with your group or on your own. Go ahead. All right, now those two, three minutes are done. Let's talk about what you have to do. These are going to be your body paragraphs, like other essays that we've written. Right here's a topic sentence. Then you follow it with your evidence. And then at the end, you put any explanation that you can. Topic sentence, evidence, and then explanation. Here is an example template for your paper. Now for now, we don't need to do an introduction, so don't worry about an introduction. We're gonna worry about just our body paragraphs. So you're gonna to need to write down two body paragraphs. You're gonna start with your topic sentence, then two or three pieces of um, evidence, then any, any significance why you can explain this is important. You can even add, if you want to, connections to another era. For example, how women were treated in one era or another. Maybe you want to talk about China with filial piety or something like that. Make that connection the best you can and have these two rough draft paragraphs ready for tomorrow. Again, no introduction. Have two rough draft paragraphs ready and we will go over them tomorrow. So you're going to have the rest of the time to work on this to get your two paragraphs started and the vocab test, which is our assignment for tomorrow. And I will see you guys tomorrow.